In this video, we're going to get a bit creative with Excel. I'm going to show you how you can conditionally format word art to get a certain effect. Let's say you're working on a project and in a presentation, you want to show the percentage completion of your project. So you could present it in this way, or if you really want to impress, you can show it in this way. Here you can see the percentage sign. The line in the percentage sign is actually being conditionally formatted depending on the percentage completed. How can we get this effect? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this done with normal Excel features, no VBA. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can conditionally format the entire word art with VBA. What do you think this line is? It's actually an in-bar chart that's been tilted. Let's set it up from scratch. Okay, so this is where we're going to be inputting the percentage. What we need is to insert a word art, which we can do from text, word art, and we're just going to go with the first option. Don't click inside your text box, okay? Immediately go to the formula bar, type in equals and reference the input cell. Okay, this way we get our text box, our word art to be connected to our cell. Okay, so if this changes to 20%, that's gonna change to 20% as well. I'm gonna make this number much bigger. Okay, that looks better. Next step, let's replace this line with an in-bar chart. How do we create an in-bar chart? Well, in Excel, there is no default inserting an in-bar chart. Okay, so you have to do some steps to get that effect. So if we take a look at our chart here, how many columns do you think it comprises of? Two columns, right? One is the column that the user inputs, so that's the percentage. The other is the 100% bar that's sitting right behind it. We need those two numbers. Okay, so I'll just input here 100%. And based on these two numbers, we're going to insert a clustered column chart. Now what Excel does is it's going to plot them one beside each other, two different categories. We don't want them on two different categories. We want them to sit on the same category. So what we need to do is right mouse click, select data, and switch row and column. Okay, so now they're sitting on the same category. What I'm going to do now is to also edit the series names just to give them proper names that I can find from this drop down. I guess it's always good practice that you give your series names that you recognize. So this is A4, that's the input one, just put input as the name. For the second one, just going to call it full. Okay, now what I want is to get them on top of one another. Okay, so what do I have to do here? I just need to double click on any of these to activate the series options. And from here, which one of these do you think I need to change to get them on top of the other? Overlap. This needs to be 100%. What Excel does is that it puts this one on top of this. I want this one on top of this. I have to change that order and I can do that by going to select data and pushing this input one down. Okay, now we can see it here. What I can also do is to reduce the gap width of these so that I don't have this white space here. Okay, so if I double click on them again, go to the chart options for the gap width, just reduce it all the way to zero. You can see it fills up the entire pot area. That means I can make my whole chart object much smaller. I don't need this, just press delete. For the y-axis, I am going to fix it to a minimum of 0 and 1. It's percentages, which means that I can fully fix them. I don't need them to be dynamic. Now let's try to get that effect that this is going to be empty and this is going to be filling it up based on this percentage. So I'm going to make this bar here white and I'm going to add a border to it. And it shouldn't be white, it should be something that we see like this one. 
The effect that I want is to add some distance between this blue series here and the white series. Let me try to do that by selecting a white outline for it and let's make it thicker. Okay, it looks like this because what is happening is that this series is covering that series. So when I add the white outline to it, I can't see the outline of the other series. I don't want this effect. I actually want this effect where I have that border going all the way around it and that blue series is sitting in the middle. To do that, I need to push one of these series to the secondary axis because that way they're independent and I can independently control, for example, their gap width. Okay, so now that I'm here, I'm in the right series, let's say I'm in the input series, I'm going to select secondary axis and I'm going to increase the gap width to 40. I no longer need the outline. What happened is that Excel is taking a good guess of fitting my secondary y-axis for me, but obviously I don't want that. Let's delete all the elements that we don't need. We don't need to see the numbers. We don't need to see the chart title and I'm going to remove the border on this chart. Let's just have a look. If this is 50%, this fills up. Obviously, I don't need to have it this big. Let's see what we get if we make it smaller. Oh yeah, that looks good. To make it fit the word art better, let me just change this blue color to a black color. Ultimately, I want to be putting this chart on top of this here and tilt it. But before I show you how you can tilt this, let's just look at the position of this bar. If this is 50%, the position will be somewhere here. It just needs to be tilted. If I change this to 100%, look at the position. It's not the right spot. If I change it to 2, look at the position. It's shifting because this whole text box is shifting and I don't want that. I want the position of it to be fixed. To do that, I need to split my number and my percentage sign because that way I can fix the position of the percentage sign. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. One of these text boxes is just going to show the number and the second text box is just going to show the percentage sign and that number is not going to have the percentage sign. So it's going to be this multiplied by 100. And I need to change the reference of this to be C4. Okay, now with Excel, the moment you change the reference of a text box, it always reverts back to its default format. That's why I copied it as well before. So I'm going to copy the format of this by pressing Control Shift C. Click on this one and click Control Shift V. Okay, so this copies and pastes the formatting. This one, I'm just going to change to the percentage sign. Now, I don't necessarily need to make this a cell reference, so I can remove that reference here and delete that 50. Just be left with the percentage sign. I'm going to be positioning it somewhere here. Let's just check if this is 100%. That's okay. Could even bring it a little bit closer. That position is not shifting, right? If I put my mouse here and I put 40 here, you see it's right there. So now our next challenge is to put this chart instead of this line and to tilt it. So this is where we can use the linked pictures. Our original chart is going to be somewhere hidden that people don't see. So either on the far, right hand side here or on a completely separate tab. What we need to do is to copy the cells where our chart is sitting on. Highlight the cells behind it and press Ctrl C. Now let's just go to somewhere empty here, go to paste and from the other paste options we're going to paste a linked picture. Okay so not a picture because that's going to be static, we want a linked picture. And that's a live picture. To so see what happens, picture tools came up. What do we have in picture tools that we don't have in charts? 
Well, we can crop a picture and we can rotate a picture. So let's crop this. And I can also rotate it. Okay, so let me just put it on top here and let me rotate it like this. Yeah, that already looks good. The good thing about this is that it's a live picture. So if I change this to 80, my chart changes, my picture changes. Okay, anything you want to change on this image here, you actually have to change on the original chart. So if you wanted to change the black to another color, you just go to your original chart, make sure you have selected the right series and decide the color from here. Okay, so this changes to gray, this changes to gray. Let's change it to orange, orange, orange. Now one thing you do want to do is to group all the elements together so that when you're moving this around, they're just one object being moved around. So I clicked on all of them. So hold down control when you're clicking and either right mouse click and group them or sometimes the right mouse click ends up you losing everything that you just highlighted. So you can go to format and group from here. Okay, now you have one object that you can move together. And this object is connected to your cell. This is how you can create in-bar charts in Excel and how you can get creative with charts and with word art by using the picture link option. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this one, why not subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates when new videos come out.